Today our topic is health injury and adaptation. Let us speak about the pathology. This is the science that dealing with the disease as regards the etiology, nature, pathogenesis, pathological features, prognosis, complications, and the pathological investigation. Etiology. This is the cause of the disease. Nature like inflammation, degeneration, circulatory infection, and neoplastic. Pathogenesis like the mechanism of a disease formation. Uh, pathological features like growth of microscopic prognosis that is the expected disease outcome complication like added difficulties to the cause of a disease fate like prognosis plus complications uh, pathological investigations like biopsy autopsy cellular basis of the disease that is the cell injury cellular dysfunction organ dysfunction this is a clinical expression this concept dates to the 19th century on the Rudolf Virchow, this is who is the father of modern pathology. All forms of the organ injury starts with the molecular or the structural alternation in the cells. Normal cells have the fairly narrow range of the function or the steady state. This is a homeostasis. Excess physiologic or the pathological stress may force the cell to the new steady state, that is adaptation. Adaptation is nothing but change in the cell morphology and the function in response to the stimulus. It is a reversible one. Too much stress exceeds the cell's adaptive capacity. It is called injury. Modif- adaptation. This is a modification of the cell morphology and function in relation to stress. It is reversible and preserves the viability of a cell. It includes hypertrophy, atrophy, hyperplasia and metaplasia. Hypertrophy. Hypertrophy is an increase in the size of the individual cell in response to the stimulus or injury. Atrophy. It is a decreased size and weight of an organ due to the decreased size and the number of its component cells. Hyperplasia. It is an increase in the absolute number of cells in response to the stimulus or persistence to the cell injury. It may be physiological or the pathological ones. Metaplasia. A reversible change in which one mature or the adult cell type is replaced by the another mature cell type of the same category. Cell injury. It is a change in the cell's morphology and function in response to stress. Cell injury occurs when the limit to the adaptive response have been exceeded or if the cell are not able to adapt. Factors that affect the cell injury. The first one is type, duration and the severity of injury. Type of the injured tissue its adaptability and uh, Genetic makeup. Example, brain tissue is very sensitive to the hypoxia. Skeletal muscle can adapt hypoxia for 2 to 6 hours. Oxygen deprivation. Hypoxia and ischemia, most important cause. Oxygen free radicals. Uh, physical agents like heat, cold, radiation, trauma. Chemical agents like drugs, toxins. Infectious organism. Immunological reactions. Genetic dearrangements and the nutritional imbalance causes starvation and obesity. Pathogenesis of the cell injury. Mitochondria is concerned with the cell respiration and the production of the ATP which is responsible about the important vital organs and the vital functions of the cell. For example, cellular osmolarity like sodium and the potassium, membrane transport process and the protein synthesis. Pathogenesis of the cell injury. Uh, here we can look for the role of the mitochondria. Mitochondrial oxidative phosphorylation is disrupted first. There will be a decrease in the ATP. Decrease in the sodium and the potassium pump will lead to the gain of the intracellular sodium that causes the cell swelling. In case of alternative metabolism, depletion of the glycogen, anaerobic respiration with the glycogenolysis, lactic acid stimulation, this leads to the decreased pH and increased intracellular osmotic pressure, intracellular H2O and cell swelling. Light microscopic changes, cell swelling, cloudy swelling and the hydrophic change. Hydrophic degeneration, a severe form of the cloudy swelling, cytoplasm accumulates the vacuoles of the water. Fatty change, steatosis, it is the abnormal accumulation of the intracellular neutral fat that occurs in the parenchymatous organ, most commonly liver and heart. Causes and the pathogenesis, causes like, uh, there will be many causes of the cell injury, uh, while speaking about the pathogenesis, the mitochondrial theory, mild, prolonged or the severe short injury leads to the injury of the mitochondria with the release of its fat that accumulates in the cytoplasm. Normal fat metabolism will be uh, in the liver. Increased fatty acids enter into the liver. This causes the obesity, starvation and the cortisone therapy. Increased fatty acid synthesis in the liver 
from the acidity like alcoholism decreased oxidation of the fatty acid causes a hypoxia anemia respiratory failure and they also cause increased esterification of the fatty acid to triglyceride leads to the diabetes mellitus and the alcoholism decreased formation of the apoprotein leads to the protein malnutrition alcoholism and the ccl4 toxicity causes of the fatty acids change in the liver increased fatty acid entry into the liver causes obesity starvation and the cortisone therapy increased esterification of the fatty acid to the triglycerides leads to the dm and the alcoholism increased fatty acid synthesis in the liver from the acetate causes the alcoholism decreased oxidation of the fatty acid leads to the triglyceride decreased formation of the upper protein protein Causes the causes the protein malnutrition, alcoholism, and the CCL two toxicity. Cell death and irreversible type of a cell injury. It has two types: necrosis and apoptosis. Necrosis, death of a group of cell within the living organism. Necrosis this is the death of a group of cell within the living organism. Two factors characterize the irreversibility of the cell damage. One is irreversible mitochondrial damage and another one is the increased intracellular calcium. <coughs> Pathogenesis of the necrosis. Irreversible mitochondrial dysfunction leads to the markedly decreased ATP. Increased level of the intracellular co-activation of many enzymes. That is example like proteases, phospholipases and the endonucleases. Microscopic changes of the necrosis. Microscopically, the cell membrane disappears, cytoplasm is swollen, mitochondria is swollen, rupture forms a myelin fetus and may be calcified. Nuclear changes, phycnosis, the nuclear shrinkage and the increased obesophilia, characteristics, fragmentation of the kinetic nucleus, karyolysis, filling of the basophilia of the chromatin. Types of necrosis, one is the coagulating, liquefactive, caseous, fake necrosis and the fibrinoid necrosis. Coagulating necrosis, cell's basic outline is preserved but the details are lost. Protein denaturation, predominates the enzymatic de digestion. Liquefactive necrosis, they are usually due to the enzymatic dissolution of the nucleotide cells, usually due to the release of the proteolytic enzymes from the neutrophils. They are most often seen in the CNS and in abscesses. Tissues necrosis, uh, they resemble the cheese-like structure, usually seen in the infections. Example mycobacterial tuberculosis and the fungal infection. Fat necrosis, necrosis of the fat cells. Release of the triglyceride, which are hydrolyzed by the lipids into the fatty acid and the glycerol. Fatty acid attracts the calcium to form the calcium soups, may be traumatic or enzymatic one. Fibrinoid necrosis, they are usually seen in the walls of the blood vessel. They are glassy, eosinophilic, fibrin like material. This is deposited within the vascular walls. Renal glomerulus influx of the fibrin into the efferent arterial due, in this case, to the malignant hypertension. Apoptosis, a type of cell death referred to as a single or the programmed cell death. It is an important mechanism for the removal of a cell as occur in the cell within the irreparable DNA damage from the viruses, free radicals, and chemicals, etc., protecting against the neoplastic transformation. Apoptosis, a physiologic process like the embryogenesis, menstruation, phenopause. Uh, intestinal hemostasis and the immune tolerance. Pathologic process like the acute inflammation, organ atrophy, neoplasia, graft rejection, and the viral hepatitis. <coughs> Apoptosis. Apoptosis is nothing but the cell shrinkage, loss of microphylia and the cell junction, regular fragmentation of a DNA, each 180 BP intervals. They have the membrane bleeping. They are also useful in the formation of the apoptotic bodies. Rapid phagocytosis of the apoptotic body occurs here and the absence of inflammation. What are the differences between the necrosis and apoptosis? Death of group of cells within the living tissue is necrosis. Single cell death. Programmed cell death is apoptosis. They are always pathological in necrosis, pathological and physiological in the apoptosis. In necrosis, they causes the characteristics, carolysis and trichnosis. In apoptosis, they causes the regular fragmentation of the DNA. The cell swells in necrosis, cell shrinks in the apoptosis. Uh, the cell membrane dissolves in the necrosis, uh, 
blips forming the upper left cortex and the upper process of surrounding inflammation will be present in necrosis and surrounding inflammation is absent in the upper process pathologic calcification it is a deposition of the calcium salt in the sites other than the bone and the teeth dystrophic calcification they occur in the non viable tissue with the normal blood calcium level metastatic calcification like they occur in the viable tissue caused by the hypercalcemia they also causes the stone formation dystrophic calcification abnormal calcification in which there is a normal blood calcium level it is diseased of the necrotic tissue the necrotic tissue may be fat coagulated liquefied calcious necrosis atherosclerosis central necrotic cells they also causes the pneumonitic bodies damage of the aging heart valves will be present there metastatic calcification increased blood calcium plus the normal tissue increased pti secretion parathyroid tumor ectotopic pti secretion bone destruction osteolytic tumors pigs disease and the immobilization vitamin d disorders like vitamin d toxicity and the sarcoidosis excess calcium intake as in milk alkali syndrome nephrocalcinosis and the renal stones caused by the milk and the anti acid self therapy metastatic calcification in lungs they causes the respiratory failure in kidney they causes the nephrocalcinosis and the kidney failure in stomach they causes uh, some ulcers in arteries often affection of the small blood vessels of the skin causes the ischemic ulcers with the necrosis that is called calciphylaxis